Today, we will see how to simply and effortlessly, and also for free, implement a cookie consent management box on your website, on a, uh, nearly any, any website. So, this is the box, for example, on, a, on, a, on our website. So, it's very simple, uh, the, the privacy and transparency box that is now necessary in uh, Europe to uh, be compliant with the GDPR regulations. Uh, although in uh, California, there is the CCPA, California Consumer Protection Act, that kind of similarly uh, necessitates to uh, get acceptance from uh, visitors uh, to use the to use the cookies and uh, to store personal information. So you can have this box very simply uh, with Ezwick. We'll see right after how to do it. But first, let's have a look at this box. So this box is uh, you can personalize it. You have various language the languages, the most common languages in Europe. But you can add more. We will see it later. And you have uh, everything you need, all the text. Uh, you have link to the vendor list. You have a link to the privacy policy. Uh, your user can select to continue with recommended cookies or uh, any visitor can manage settings and choose which cookies uh, for which purpose is allowing your website uh, to, uh, to use. So from storing and or accessing information on the device, selecting basic ads, creating a personalized ads profile, selecting personalized ads, creating a personalized content profile, selecting personalized content, measuring ad performance, measuring content performance, applying market research uh, to generate audience insights, developing and improving products. And every time you can, uh, your users can expand uh, the section to see in uh, detail what will this uh, cookie be used for. So you have a lot of sections and we continue with special purposes to ensure security, prevent fraud and debug, to uh, technically deliver ads or content and features, matching and combining offline data sources, linking different devices, receiving and using automatically sent device characteristics for identification, and finally special features such as using precise geolocation data or actively scanning device characteristics for identification. And again, every time your visitors can select to consent or not. So by default, nothing is activated, only the legitimate interest for this, um, this, uh, this, uh, this use. And they can expand and see what the cookie is about, what means, uh, what it means. So now I, I will, uh, I will uh, let you read uh, on the side. We will not read it in this video, but your visitors can choose everything. And at the end, they can uh, save the settings or whatever they have consented to or not or continue with recommended cookies. So how to have this very uh, useful, uh, necessary because mandatory uh, and simple to implement box. All you have to do is create an account on Ezoic. You have the link in the description, a link to actually the, the article on their website where they explain um, how, uh, how their uh, cookie consent management box uh, works. But from this page on the top right, you can go to create an account, you can submit your website and after, uh, after a short uh, review, if, uh, you will most likely be allowed to use uh, for free all Ezoic products and services and you will be able to activate this uh, cookie consent management box on your website. All you have to do is integrate your website. So there are a few steps to integrate your website. Once this is done, all you have to do is go to your dashboard for your website and here open the privacy tab. There you have various uh, apps, uh, starting with uh, SSL uh, settings and privacy policy and what interests us here, the consent management box. All you have to do to be compliant with uh, consent management is here to click on enable SOE consent management. Wait a second and here you go, success, the consent management platform has been enabled. And here you have everything needed. So uh, before uh, going into the cookies, let's see how we can personalize it. So you can check the instructions to, uh, to implement it correctly. You can customize the dialogue. You can choose in which language uh, the consent box will be displayed. You can add languages if you don't have enough. You can personalize uh, each, each text that is uh, displayed on the platform. So in most cases, uh, maybe you will, you will not need it, it will be enough, but if you want, you can here personalize everything on this consent management box. You can also check the cookies, you can add your own cookies. If you, if you have your own cookies, actually you should add there the, the other cookies that, uh, that are used on your website and to which uh, users uh, should, uh, uh, can uh, uh, consent or not. You can for each cookie, of course, um, personalize everything. 
than the vendor list. So in, in case you have vendors that are not part of the IIB uh, TCF vendor list, you can add your vendors here. And uh, finally, you can choose about the consent, uh, consent data. Um, you, you can see who uh, consented or not, and you can uh, download consent data if you like. So let's see now the settings of this app. First of all, you have the general settings. So you can auto-detect language or not. So usually, of course, it's preferred to do it. So if the user is browsing, um, is asking his browser to request pages in a specific language, and this language exists, is a setup on your cookie consent management box, the cookie consent man management box will be loaded and displayed in this language when the user loads the page. You can choose a default language, so you have plenty to choose from. You can choose in which country your uh, site is based, as it might change how the how the data regulation is, uh, is used, so this will be done on your behalf. You can uh, select also if your site has content intended for minors. You can enable the super compliance mode. You can enable HTTP cookie blocking and, uh, and more. And then we have here a block of settings for CCPA for the California Consumer Protection Act. So you can enable it or not. You can choose the positioning and uh, you can um, select if you have uh, an IAB limited service provider agreement. This is for California. Then for Europe, the GDPR settings. These settings apply only for visitors in Europe. So you can choose if you use the IAB TCF 2.0 or not. You can also uh, enable the consent management even on non ASIC versions of your website. So if your website is not fully 100% uh, using monetizing uh, ASIC, still uh, you can uh, show the consent management box even on the pages that are not um, on your web pages that are not uh, managed by ESWIC. Then you can also enable content management dialogue on AMP versions if your site has an AMP version accelerating mobile pages. You can choose also to show the consent worldwide but uh, probably it's not recommended because um, it is mostly for uh, European Union visitors that you need this uh, consent management box. You can also disable the consent management box on certain pages if you if needed. So pretty simple. All you have to do is uh, push a button and everything is activated on your behalf uh, and you have your consent management box. You can also then personalize it. So you can choose the dialog color. So if I show you again my example here, the border are green, the background is white and the text is black. So these are the three um, visual changes you can make. So you can choose the border color, you can choose the background color, you can choose the text color. Very simple. You can play here with the HTML picker, color picker, or enter your own address, uh, your own um, uh, color uh, name if you know it. And finally, you also have access to ESOIC Pro customization. So you can choose the display mode if it is um, displayed as a model or as a banner at the bottom of the window. You can choose to show your site, site logo or not if it has been configured on a ASOIC dashboard. And you can uh, choose a different consent interval if you want to show it again uh, from time to time. And that's all. And then all you have to do is save. Here you go. Settings have been uh, saved. And if your website is, uh, is uh, integrated with ASOIC, you can reload your page and you will see your uh, consent management box. So I will reload the site so we see it. So this will be displayed on your website. Again, uh, simple, fast, free. Uh, it will uh, do everything on your behalf. If you activate it, you can get rid of uh, whatever WordPress plugin or whatever thing you had to do to uh, get your own consent management box. Here, everything is integrated. Very simple. It will be updated uh, um, by itself. So no more plugin or it will, that uh, are slowing down your website. Very simple. You have nothing to do. You don't have to look for anything anywhere. Everything is there. You can personalize it all. Very simple, easy to use, fast and free. So I guess I say it all. So let us know in the comments if you start using it, uh, how is your experience with it and if it uh, helped you, if it saved, saved you some time and uh, troubles uh, to uh, comply with all data regulations worldwide. It's again, very simple and very weak. Well, thanks uh, for uh, watching this video and check the links in comment, uh, submit your website and uh, let, us do if, uh, let us know if you do it. Good luck.